Mary, like many of us, had what I call new birth excuses. Is it okay if I tell this what we, what we need to hear and not just what we want to hear? Okay. We all have new birth excuses. We all have reasons why we say and we reason why God cannot do a particular thing in our lives. I've heard them over and over as a pastor and in ministry. I've heard things like, there is no way that God can save my marriage. We're too far gone. There's no way God could love me because I've made too many mistakes. There's no way that God could ever use me in ministry because I don't have what it takes. I will never see the relationship with my son or my daughter or my loved one restored. There's been too much damage that's been done. I will never be able to get on top of my bills. I'm destined to be in debt for the rest of my life. I will never be able to get clean or to be sober because the temptations are just too strong. Listen, we all have new birth excuses. But like Mary, we can point out how, from a human perspective, that it does not make sense for God to do a particular work in us and through us. But think about how the angel responded to Mary's excuses. The angel says, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Essentially, the angel was saying, you see, Mary, what you think is impossible is very possible with God. This is not a work of mere men. This is a work of God. All of our excuses actually may be legitimate, actually may be correct about why now should not be a fresh start and a new birth. But listen, in and of ourselves, it is impossible. But through the supernatural activity of God, all things are possible.